most important thing in uh, a horseback hunt is making sure you have the right horse. Uh, you want a horse that's calm and has no problem, not going to spook or anything like that. Because a horse can really ruin a hunt in a hurry real quick. I mean, they, they can blow up and there goes all your stuff, all your guns throw you on the ground, roll down a hill. It's real important to have good feet on a horse. Um, if you can help it, black feet, black hooves are, are your hard hooves usually. Um, usually if they got white on their hooves, they're gonna be a softer footed horse. It's important to have a good horseshoer because a, a bad horseshoer can screw, screw your horse up, screw his joints and stuff up like that. It's one thing to pack a horse or a horse to be saddled and, and just have a normal saddle on it. It's another thing to have a pack put on them. There's a few different, few extra things on a pack that uh, can cause a horse to be a little uneasy. So of course the first thing we're doing here is just combing her off. Uh, we don't want any dirt or any hay or any stickers or anything sticking into her once you throw that blanket on. That'll cause you a lot of problems there if you got something underneath of her that's being pressed into her the whole time. <laughs> He's a ham, huh? <laughs> Next thing we do is, of course, put a good, good heavy saddle pad on there. It's going to be packing some pretty good weight. So, get yourself. Now this part here is the stuff that'll bug a horse a lot of times because it's going to go right up underneath of her here, tail. And if you don't have a good horse there, that's the part that's going to bug them from a regular saddle horse to a pack horse. That's, and of course what this is doing here is this keeping that whole pack from uh, wanting to slide forward on you. Of course you want to make sure it fits good and tight here. Um, we're a little loose here, but that's uh, all right right now. And what you got here is kind of a breast collar. This just kind of comes around here in front, and this, uh, what this is going to do is keep your pack from sliding back on you. Make sure that uh, pack is good and centered on, on her back. Normally what we do uh, is tighten that up a little bit, but for today we'll just leave it like that. When we're talking about tying off and not wanting to tie off on your next pack horse, this is what we've got here rigged up. Uh, it's just some baling twine with a uh, ring coming off the back. That way we can tie a loop, tie our uh, lead onto a piece of twine like this, and that twine's gonna break if anything major happens. This is what we call a pannier, can canvas pannier. Um, there's several different styles. Um, we've kind of come to like this canvas style here because it's, uh, a little more flexible, we can kind of jam a few more things in here that uh, normally with a, like a box pannier or um, a hard pannier, you're going to not be able to probably get things jammed in there. And basically what we've got here is a couple loot or a couple uh, straps that go over the top of our load here and it ties both sides together. It's also got its own uh, type of a breast collar here to keep it from sliding back. And then you got a couple straps underneath that go underneath to help it tie in down there too. Most important part with loading a pan ear is uh, making sure your weight distribution is just right. And uh, a lot of really good packers um, will weigh their stuff out. Um, we kind of go back and forth and guess a little bit on, on our weight. And a lot of times we can tell in the first 100 feet if our load is, is even or not. We'll watch that pan here and if it starts wanting to slip one side to the other, we know one side's a little heavier than the other. So we'll adjust accordingly to that. Awesome hunt. <laughs>